Hi everybody, it's Angie. Treasured Vintage. I should be listing today, but instead I'm just looking at jewelry. So I thought I'd share what I'm looking at. Um, this is so much stuff that I've just wanted to list and I just have not, have not gotten it done. This is a pretty enamel pendant necklace. I love the colors in that. So pretty. With the gold tone chain. Another pretty pendant necklace. This one's probably gold plated. It has some rhinestones in it. Some golden rhinestones. You can see that. Some open work. And a nice chain on it. I love these earrings. They're clips. Look how pretty. The moonstone. Not the moonstone. Moon glow. Moon glow. Stones in the center. They're pretty. And I have a bracelet that kind of matches. I love this. That's older. Definitely an older piece. See the back, the stones are foiled. They're open a little bit. It's got that older type clasp on it. Like that. I need to list that, that is so pretty. These little dainty, delicate earrings. I'm partial to lever backs, and I love when they have this little embellishment on them at the tops. Little dainty enameled dangles are so cute. What else do we have? Big old puffy heart. Silver plated has some wear on it right there, or it might be just silver tone. I don't know. It's got a nice chain on it with that kind of a clasp, the hook clasp. And some fashion hoops, but they're cute. I like this and I don't know classic 80s I don't know if that would sell or not I think it's cool oh I have it upside down but other than that it's cool <laughs> the pin parts up there it's got uh, it's M gent I've heard of that before M J E N E N T gent I like that. We have these. I think they're peacocks, right? Peacock earrings, maybe. Don't often see enamel with that color. So I think they're cool with the silver. Silver and orange and blue. I 
have a 1978 jade Avon necklace. Not bracelet, <laughs> not a necklace, but that is in my uh, my Avon book, and it's named uh, Treasured Jade Bracelet. I didn't look up to see if there was any listed or not, but that's kind of pretty. Simple and pretty. I have a feeling this would sell pretty fast if I list it. It's a really cute angle bracelet that is kind of oblong shaped. How does that work? There we go. Nice clasp on it. That. That's pretty. It's well made. I don't think it's signed, but it's very well made. These, I believe, are all, um, you know, what's the name on these? I did know the name. Oh, uh, Miller. Nolan Miller. These are all Nolan Miller pieces. They are Nolan Miller of QVC. These are pretty. So we have a, we have two pendants, and then the earrings that match them. One lever back pair and one stud pair. I should list those probably as a lot. Perfect condition those are in. This is also real cute. I should list it. This I think is gold filled, but it's very small. Let me get this stuff out of the way. One thing at a time. Isn't this cute? Look how adorable. Um, it has this, these little dangles on the end, which I really love. There are pearls on each side with the leaf um, design. And the only real wear on it is um, on the spring ring clasp a little bit. Yeah, it is gold filled, 12 karat gold filled, or gold, maybe that's GR, gold rolled, maybe, but in any case, I'm not familiar with that mark, I need to look that mark up, but that's the spring ring clasp, I know this is pretty small. Um, I don't even know if it fits on my wrist or not. I think it's for a child, actually. I think it's a baby bracelet because it's very, very small. Very small. But it's really cute.
Need some pretty stone earrings, turquoise, probably. And they are screwbacks. Little star at the top. These are pierced. Little pearls on each side. A little amber stone, amber colored stone. I love those. Something about the the shape and the design and the enameling. It's really pretty. Kind of, uh, I don't know. I want to say Moroccan. I don't know though. Something. There's. I just. There. There must be a distinct name for for this type of look. And I don't know why I want to say Moroccan. I don't know. Very pretty though. These are cool. Look at those guys. Old. They almost look like a Joan Rivers type of a jewelry, but they're older than that. They're very old. They might even be. I don't know, 40s or earlier, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, let's get a necklace. Real pretty. Teal green. It's like a jewel, a jewel tone green glass bead necklace. Such pretty color. It's just that that color is really vibrant. You can't tell on the, the video, but it's very, very bright jewel tone green. I always like this, and I don't know why. To, I've had this for years, and I have not listed it. And I just think it's so cute, and so cool. These uh, acrylic, I think they're acrylic stones, faux stones here hanging on it, on the bracelet. I just always liked it. Should list it. Cute. Their natural stone necklace with some jade and amethyst. I guess that's jade or agate. I don't know. I don't know stones still. Isn't that pretty? Look how sparkly. Look how sparkly. Um... Yeah, this could be, I could be totally off on what these stones are. Probably not jade um, at all. <laughs> but maybe this is, maybe, I don't know. But uh, with sterling in there and yeah, real pretty. One of my 1928 pins, I must have at least eight or so of these 1928 pins on the card, different ones. A different type of Edgar Baribi earrings. Definitely 80s. Um, clips 
I don't know if these would sell. I did. I have sold one pair uh, with this floral pattern on. Um, and I think I might have had these listed in like a jewelry lot, but I must have took it down, thought I'd try, try listing them separate. They're interesting, but they are, uh, they are Edgar Baribi. There's the signature. I always like these old style clips with the uh, little dangle pearls on them. This reminds you of something your grandma or great grandma or mom used to wear. I don't know if my mother wore these, would have wore this. I think she probably would have wore something like that way back when. Real pretty cross necklace on a sterling chain. That's blue sapphire, I think. Really dark blue sapphire. Probably some faux diamonds in there, CZs. seen this stuff before but I bet it's been so long ago that you wouldn't even remember <laughs> Look at these long earrings I should I should probably list these together because they're the same type of finish that uh, matte finish these are shoulder duster types I just have so much fun looking at jewelry. I I just could look at my jewelry all day long. Not get it listed, but look at it. <laughs> I like these too. I like these a lot. These are just silver tone, but it's the finish that that I really like. Um, the etch, the etched part that makes them so interesting to me. The design. I don't know that these look real etched. I don't know. These look. This the just the texture of them is cool, I think. They're nothing, you know, nothing spectacular. They're just silver tone, but you know, just something about them. Something about them I just love. These are things I have waiting to take pictures of is what is what this big tray is of jewelry here that I'm picking this stuff from. I'm just waiting to uh, take pictures of it. Cute little open cuff. Needs polished up a little bit. It's probably silver plated maybe. It's real lightweight. And this one's interesting. This one has some some designs like that on it. It's brass. It's probably Indian. 
India bracelet. And here's a sterling one. It's kind of flattened. Flattened out. Sterling one. Here's this one. Just well made. I don't think it's marked anywhere, but it's very well made. Oh, it is marked. Well, I'm not sure what that mark is. If anybody knows what that mark is, let me know. So I'm at about 20 minutes. I might keep going, but I think I'll stop this video and um, upload it, start a new one. So thank you for watching, and I will be back. Oops. I'll be back with some more vintage jewelry. Like and uh, thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye for now. Have a blessed day.